Hello everyone and welcome to your channel TechWine. In this video, I will provide you the solution for this lab. First of all, log into the cloud console. In the console, go to this search bar and type Kubernetes. Now click on this Kubernetes engine. Click on create. Then in this autopilot mode, click on this configure. You can simply skip this. Now go to this networking and make sure in this network Trust Kubernetes is selected. Now scroll down and select this private cluster. For this IP range, go back to the lab and move to the first task. Now copy this IP range. Then paste it. Now click on this create. This cluster creation is going to take some time, but we don't have to wait. We can move forward with other tasks and once it is complete, we can go back to the lab and check the progress for this first task. But for now, let's move on with the other task. Now open this create cluster. Then go to this more actions, then click connect. Now run this command in the cloud shell. Simply click on this button. Click continue. In the cloud shell, you will see this type of command. Then simply hit enter. Click authorize. Go back to the lab. Copy this command. Then simply run it. Now go back and copy the next command. Then run it. Now please pay attention. We have to select the token key very carefully. You can see this student written and our token key starts just before this student. So copy it carefully and save it somewhere. Please pay attention while you select the token key. Our token key starts before this student. So copy it very carefully. Now let's move on. Copy the next command. Then run it. Now copy your token key. Then simply paste it. One more thing, the token key will not be visible to you. So simply press Ctrl plus V then hit enter. Copy the next command. Then run it. Again go back to the lab. Copy the next command. Then run it. This command will take 20 to 30 seconds to generate your external IP. Till then we have to wait. Ok now our IP is generated. Now what you have to do, go back to the lab. Now copy this address. Then open a new tab and paste the address. Now carefully remove this thing, your external IP. Now go back to the cloud shell and copy your external IP. Then simply paste it and hit enter. Click advance. Then click on this proceed. For the username and password, go back to the lab and copy this password. For the username, simply type admin and click on this create account. 
now we have to generate our license key again go back to the lab copy this command and go back to your cloud shell first of all press ctrl plus c then paste the copied command and hit enter this is our license key again we have to pay attention to copy this key you can see this student return and our license key starts just before this so copy it very carefully then go back to the prisma cloud and paste the license key then click on this register please pay attention when you select this license key our license key starts before this student so copy it very carefully now let's move on if you will go back to the kubernetes engine and click on this clusters you will see this autopilot cluster is created now we can go back to the lab and check the progress for the first task then scroll down and check the progress for this second task also at this point if this autopilot cluster is not created for you please wait for 2 to 3 minutes and once it is created go back to the lab and check the progress for first and second task now let's move on go back to the prisma cloud click on this manage then click on this defenders go to the names now click on this click to add click advance then proceed now go to this deploy section and for the deployment method make sure this option is selected now scroll down and enable this option now click on this download now go back to your cloud console and open this autopilot cluster 1 now click on connect then run in the cloud shell then simply hit enter once this command completes we have to upload a file click on this more then upload now choose the files and from your download section you will find this file click on open then click upload and once this file is uploaded open your editor if you see this type of message simply click on this open in a new window in the editor you will see this type of the file open it and in this file move to the line number 89 this is the line simply remove it remove this line number 90 also you have to remove line number 89 and line number 90 now scroll down and go to the line number 164 then carefully remove it remove the line number 165 and also the line number 166 now save your changes click on file then save all now go back to the cloud shell click on this open terminal then from the lab copy this command and run it now you can go back and check the progress now let's move on copy this command then run it copy the next one and run it again go back now copy this command then run it 
you can see our pots are not ready so we have to wait for 2 to 3 minutes so let's wait for some time after that we will run the same command again now let's run it Now you can see some of the pods are running. Now we can move ahead. Go back to the lab. Now copy this command. Then run it. You will get this external IP. Now copy this IP. Open a new tab. Then type HTTP colon double forward slash and paste the IP. Then hit enter. You will see this type of the interface. Now you can go back to the lab and check the progress for this task also. Now let's move on. Copy this command. Then run it in the cloud shell. Now let's move on, go back to the Prisma cloud, then from the manage, click on the system, then wildfire, and from this, enable this option, then scroll down and click on save. Again go back to the cloud console, and minimize the cloud shell. And for this autopilot cluster one, again click on this connect, then run in the cloud shell and hit enter. Then go back to the lab and copy this command, then run it. Now we have to insert the content, so press I. When you press the button I, you will see this option insert. Now go back to the lab and copy this thing. Then simply paste it, then press the escape key, then type colon wq and hit enter. Again go back to the lab and copy this command, then run it. Copy the next one, run it. Again go back, copy this one and then run it. Again you can see the pods are not ready so we will have to wait for some time. After waiting we will run the same command again to check the status of all the pods. You can see from this image also all the pods should be in ready state. Now let's run the same command again, copy this and run it. Ok now all the pods are running, now what you have to do, go back to the lab and check the progress. Now go back to the cloud shell and copy the IP for this app1. This is the IP, copy it and save it somewhere. Now let's move to the last task of this lab. Go to the task number 9 and copy this command then simply run it in the cloud shell. Now copy this command and open your notepad. Then simply paste it. We have to make some change in this command. Carefully remove this app IP. Now go back and copy the IP for the app 1. Copy this. Then simply add it. Copy the whole command. Then simply run it in the cloud shell. Then hit enter. 
you will see this type of message hello world now we can move forward copy this command then run it now type exit and hit enter go back to the lab and copy this last command then simply run it once this command executes go back to the lab and check the progress for this last task also and congratulations you have successfully completed this lab now you can simply end it and if the video was helpful please consider subscribing see you all in the next lab solution till then stay safe stay healthy